Hey buddy, this is John with Planet Tech, and today we're going to be looking at another headset from Matone. These are the Awi for all kinds of music. They are the A920BL wireless sports stereo headsets or earphones. They have explosive bass. Now I'm going to check. I haven't worn these yet, and I don't like bass, like heavy bass. So I'm going to see if that is just like an ad type thing or is legit. Um, and it has a built-in magnet, which is kind of like, okay, I guess they, you know, go around your neck. Because I like a lot of the Matone headsets that I've gotten, but they've never, like, clipped together like these. Um, so that'd be nice if I'm, like, wa running or walking and they, you know, fall on my ear. And, or if I want to put them around my neck. Uh, and they won't just fall off. So we have our minus volume. Next, so, okay, so that's uh, actually our chapter. So we have a chapter, it's the next song or fast forward, our uh, increase the volume, uh, pick up, hang up, play, pause, mic, uh, so uh, minus the volume or lower it, and fast, uh, rewind or chapter to the last song. And there's the back and the side, and of course, the little QR code. So there we go. We have a little advertisement in the front. We have the uh, f version uh, 4.0 Bluetooth. There's already, I think, 4.1 and 4.2 out. So I'm going to see how strong these are, how good they actually implemented the Bluetooth in this one. Integrated noise reduction. Music play is 6 hours, talk time 6 hours, and standby time is 120 hours. Language tips, operating 2 units, that means it can link up to two, um, uh, devices in HD audio. H well, it, hopefully it will play clear audio. It can't really do HD, I mean, uh, I think that means it supports HD audio. So we're just going to open up the box. Um, we have a little clip which I actually really kind of like these I had one that was cheapo from another company love the ear set cheapo uh, little clip uh, so Matone does really good clips um, also lately they've been putting out these um, little earbuds with these little inner reds so that's kind of interesting I think the mediums are on this um, I can't really wear the smalls and the larges is too huge um, it's kind of a gray, clear gray plastic. There's only one set of these. These are flimsy. Um, I like the uh, mesh ones where it's like almost solid plastic except with little holes in it. Oh, there we go. Oh, and a little clip. I love these. Uh, if you do it right, these are awesome. Um, though the one from Jaybird, uh, where it has that in our little weaving clip, that thing's kind of cool. Um, we have our fancy Bluetooth little piece. So, yeah, um, I would like these a little bit thicker, but these are, like, really good. I've usually gotten ones that are, like, really flimsy and thin, but these are really nice. And we have a all, so it's designed by Alwi. So it's produced by Matone, but designed by Alwi. So that's kind of interesting. And then we have the actual headset itself. This is like plastic with fuzz on it. Interesting. And it's really, really real place in there. Okay, so we have a micro USB. There we go. We have the button. We have the two clicky buttons. Really, really, really good buttons are actually really placed in there um and uh, i don't want to break the actual earpiece that's like solid plastic right there dang okay there we go and rotate that one let's see these are actually magnetic oh cool they actually are it's kind of awesome it's a and you can actually, I don't know if you can see it, but you can see like a little groove right there. I think that's where you can unscrew them. I wouldn't try though. That's actually kind of cool. I actually received a similar set, like Joker, at, they said they were magnetic. And I, don't, I tried and they weren't. So that's kind of like, no. But, oh, that's kind of, I like that. Normally, I don't like these because when I wear them, that's like dangling. This is small enough to where I don't think I'm going to care um, normally I prefer them like super, super thin if they're going to do that. 
but that's kind of awesome. It's got almost like two feet of cable, or a foot and a half, so that's not bad. Uh, the, the cables themselves are actually not, not bad. I prefer them on the thick side, but this isn't bad. Um, usually they have a thin in, inside, uh, like copper whatever wire, and then they have a thin like plastic. This is actually thicker, and it gets really thick right there, so that's not bad. Cool. And they're really kind of fancy. Sorry, I'm not using my um, uh, usual camcorder, which it's all lined in and everything. It's like charging, so I'm using a another HD camera with a without the audio line in. But hopefully, it's good enough video and audio for you guys. So there's left and right the Albi designs. It's red. These are actually kind of fancy and cool. Hopefully, they work out. So that was the unboxing. Oh, and we got the manual and a little pamphlet. All we in some sort of language. Please, guys, if you're doing it for the United States, please do it in proper English. Oh, we got the all we little manual. That's kind of cool. Hello. Hi there. Bluetooth is a kind of wireless technology which support short distance communications. Not bad on the English, they're getting better. A uh, distance of 10 meters. Uh, sometimes you can go a little bit further than that. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this unboxing of the Aoi A920BL wireless sports stereo um, headset. If you liked the video, comment down below, like uh, the video, and subscribe and share. If you like me to review a particular product, normally I don't really do these, but if you want me to review a particular product, comment down below. Um, would you actually get these guys? Uh, I'm going to do a follow-up video on like how I actually thought of them, and if you would like to actually take a look at them and buy them, there's going to be a link in the description down below. I'll see you guys in the next video, and can't wait to see you then. Bye. Hey buddy, so I've had my try with them. I'm going to do a little bit longer for my three-week test. But the Aoi headset is now my king of all my headsets. So even better than the JBs, which I proclaimed king of my headsets when I reviewed them. They were better than anything else. So it's the Jokerette headset, which is similar to this. And I really like, but it had a larger volume control. This one doesn't bother me like the other one did. Um... So similar design, just done a lot better. Uh, so it would be the Always, which are awesome. Um, their audio is cl very clear. When they say explosive bass, I think that's more of just a ad type thing. These are super clear. The sounds are awesome. The voices are clear. It is superior in every single way to the JVs, which are really, really nice, and the Jokerettes, which is just, like, nice audio, but badly, not badly designed, but just, like, needs better design to create, uh, you know, somebody needs to actually just, like, refine those a whole lot better. These are, like, the refined version. These are awesome. So, I actually do, like, highly recommend the Always from the Tone. They reproduce audio in a way that is really awesome. So I'm like, like oh, it's a heavy bass, bass uh, you know, sound or, or, you know, song. It's not because of the headset, it's because it is a heavy bass song. So I can listen to it. It's not heavy bass on top of heavy bass, which I really, really hate. So these work, they work as, um, I'm going to put up some images, but they work as under the ear and over the ear. Kind of hard to do when you got glasses. Uh, wrong way. But there you go. So we have over the ear, which works a whole lot. I really like that. And then we have under the ear. This was an issue in the Joker as it was a bit heavy. Um, I do actually prefer over the ears with these. So. Again, hard to do with glasses, but very nice. Audio is clear. These are magnetic, so yeah, it actually is proven. So I actually really like that. So when you're actually wearing them, they come apart, and you're wearing them, 
they actually stick together so you don't have to worry about them flying off so you just clip it you're good to go these um I have to recheck if they're actually how much they are I mean sometimes you can find deals but dang I love these headsets um if they're over a certain amount of money I'm like eh you can always get something that's even better for just a few bucks more but if these are like 20 or 30 whatever bucks I'll put an annotation somewhere then these are like totally worth it the audio is awesome the flight back time is actually pretty good I have to check the recharge I'm gonna actually time how fast it takes to recharge these on multiple different cables so I get back to you on that but I love these headsets and <laughs> they actually do work so I'll see you guys in the next review